So say if we wanted to add maybe hairline, what you could do in a process is just take your outline and then pick a gradient. And when you pick a gradient, we are going to go with change this color to white. That way we have just like a black, black and white scale. Now what you can do in a process is pretty much take like, let's say our pen tool. We can, <coughs> so we can start here, drag it into the hairline down here like this. And we're going to make it a little bit thicker. We just want it to be a little bit more realistic. I'm going to hold the shift. I mean the alt button. Click this here. I'm going to go behind the ear. Click hold it. Like that. Do this again. Like that. Through the back of the hair. And through the head, you know, connect that point. <clears throat> now, if we look at that. That looks kind of weird. Let me just back it out because that's not that's not the angle that, you know, a fade would happen from the hair. So what you can do is just take this gradient tool. And when you take the gradient tool, you just kind of pick a point uh, that you want it to fade and just be realistic with it. So depending on where you are. Like, because we want to hide uh, that particular point, but kind of make it enough to where we still fade into the hair. Because there's a sharp point right here that's kind of pointy. And it's still kind of dark right now. So what we can do is take the one that we do have, select it, and bring this down. Now, you don't want to keep adding points. Something like that, right? So in the process, if we were like, yo, I'm not liking the way that this point is around his head. Well, what you can do, <coughs> take that direction, I mean, that direct selection tool. You can definitely even add a point too. So if we were just to try to make this a look a particular way, click there, click here, add a point. What we can do is just kind of curve this. Take this point here. All right, just like that. Okay, so if I took this point again and I did this, added this to the corner, and say if I added a point. Then what I can do is just take this particular point and round it like that. And then once I round it, let me go ahead and zoom out. As you can see, you can still see some of this dark point in there. So you want to hide that as much as possible. Now, if you have, say, this particular color and it's not matching, then you can just take it and match <coughs> that type of gradient color to, to the darkest part of black that you have on here. So if I took that out and say about, I pop this out. You want this to be black. You'll make that black and then you'll scoot that over, make another black one. Bring that black one all the way on the edge. But you definitely want to make sure that it's black. Got that to be black. Now you want to create. Take that one out. If you click right on the edge, it'll give you another one that's black. Black. 
And what you can do is just pull this in. <coughs> and it'll kind of let you change it. So you want, want it to be black so it can fade into the hair. But you want to hide that point. So if you hide that point. Uh, say if you change this. You pick that point and you drag, you drag it down. Something that's realistic for a fade. <coughs> kind of stretch it out a little bit more. And if you feel like this particular point of the white color is just like too much of a white, then you can also kind of spread it out a little bit more. If that's something that you want to do, if you just want it to be like a different color in general, something more gray tone, then you can do that as well. Okay, just kind of fix that however you like it. Now, as far as the point of the facial hair, you can take these points and kind of just adjust them to your liking. You know, just, just whatever you feel fits you. So if I zoom out. All right, guys. So that was it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the design. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial for the outline as well as coloring some of this stuff. Now, I keep going through some of the same issues that I went through with the last video and I finally figured out. So I did lose a lot of the footage to be able to show you the completion of this one. I have the final product, but I don't have the videos of me doing all the, the work. I was going to break them up and kind of do like different segments or try to put it in one video. But as you can see, this is the final product. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Do you think it's dope? Do you think it's something that I could have did better? You know, do you think it's really creative? You know, just leave me some feedback. Even if you don't like the video, I still want to know uh, what you think about this uh, project and something that I've done right here so um, be sure to share this video with other people and see what they think about it if you know anybody who's trying to learn some stuff in illustrator then direct them to my videos as well as hit that subscribe button also if you have instagram or facebook be sure to go follow or like my instagram page um at chris lee aka toony or united destiny ent and then i also have a facebook business page a united destiny ENT, ent or entertainment if you go look at that page or follow me it should take you to all my other links but with that being said let me go ahead and just show you really quick um some of the things that i did in the process just so you can see exactly what i did um as far as the color let's just go with the highlights if i take out all the highlights in the video real quick this is kind of what we started with uh, besides all the other detail that I put in there, I was kind of showing you how to basically break it up and color different segments. If you wanted to color like the eyes or whatever, all I did was add more detail. But then I decided to go in and take all the color out of the eyes. Now, I told you what makes it key is being able to do the highlights or shadows or anything like that. The shading is important. So if I turn on the shadows... Even if I did it like this, it, I think it would still be good enough to get the point across of of what the picture is or who it is in a picture. If I did just like, let's try the mids. The mids, you could even still do some creative stuff with the mids if you decided to do the mids only. Now, what about the highs? Same thing. It's pretty obvious that it's a person's face. Um, it's, I guess you can say, three-dimensional and it really makes it pop. Now, once you start to add them all together, it makes it stand out a lot more. Now, I can go in and actually fill in a little bit more and put more things in there. But that's something that I'm going to decide to do here after this video is done. But for the most part, it's pretty much done. I spent a lot of layers uh, doing a detail on a beard, the highlights, a lot of the texture and the hair, the eyes, everything. And it really brought the picture together. Um one thing I wanted to say before I go, if you see anybody copying this whole little texture thing, this is my signature. So 
uh, this is this is my thing. They probably got it from me or just tell them, you know, to come up with their own thing. Uh, that's kind of going to be my go to style um, for all these things that I do in these videos. So with that being said, this is pretty much it. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Leave me some comments and let me know what you think. I know somebody did tell me that they wanted me to do Eminem. So that may be uh, the next one that I do in the next video. I don't know yet. Or I may just look on the internet and see whatever I can find. But if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave me some comments. Let me know what you think. And we can go from there. Peace.